Good morning from Chiang Mai. What you see here is our transportation for the next month while we're traveling around Thailand recording sound. It's Toyota Hilux, so it's a Japanese car and we thought why not naming this car Hana, what means flower or blossom. And I think that makes sense because now we're both growing together on this trip, just like a flower, it blossomed. Uh, if you don't know who we are, we are living in Masa and we're traveling around the world since almost seven years. And what we're doing is we record sounds. And this is how we can sustain our lifestyle with sound recordings and also through social media. Let me get into the car, show you a little bit more and talk more about why we choosing a car and not a motorbike, for example. Now, as you can see here in Thailand, we drive on the right side, which is not a problem for me since I have experience driving in Malta, Cyprus, and also in Japan. But anyway, in case of an accident or if something happens, we bought a dash cam just to have a peace of mind and can prove what happened if something happens. One hour and eight minutes. <laughs> That's what the Google says. It's gonna take us a little bit to get out of Chiang Mai because of this traffic. But Marcel has some things to say. I have uh, something to say. Now it's for the people who might be wondering <laughs> why would I use, an, uh, why would I use a, a windshield wiper in the sun. For everybody who's wondering right now, can I actually legally drive here in Thailand? And the answer is yes, because I personally have an international driving license that expires, I think, in next year or two years, so I have to renew it. But until then, I can drive here in countries like Thailand without any problem. First stop on our big tour around northern Thailand and beyond. We're at a waterfall now. Mok Pha. Right? That's how we say. Ass. Yes. And what are we gonna do, Marcel? Well, we try to record some sounds. I used Trap's microphones for this. We're gonna take a listen. There might be some people I saw it on the list here on the parking lot. Let's just see what we can find over there. Let's go on an adventure. Woo! The air here feels so nice. Especially because we have been in the city of Bangkok for the last three months where it is so hot and so much pollution. <laughs> and now we're in nature. Oh, it feels so good. Now this is the location we want to go. This also sounds very inviting. Then there's a cave, but what we don't have is we don't have an unlimited amount of time. So let's head over to the waterfall. Also, if you haven't noticed yet, we want to make these videos more behind the scene, more candid and not always too polished. So let's hit the road and see what we else, what else we can find <laughs> near the waterfall. <laughs> Normally we would redo the scene because I felt like I had a little hiccup in the wording, what I always have sometimes. But now we want to keep this because that's just who we are. And we made it here finally to the waterfall. And now let's just listen to the chef's microphone and let me know what you think about the sound. to make sure I'm not falling asleep. Also, what's so cool about having a rear-facing microphone now is we are here in this kind of, uh, in German we would say, kind of Gewölbe. Yeah, we have all these beautiful rock formation and the vibration of the sound, you know, it hits the wall. So now it's also recorded from the back. So it's very different. So you have, I feel like you have way more intensity because of that. Okay, here we go. Now, now that we're walking more further away from the waterfall, we can already hear the cicadas, we can hear birds, we can hear the river stream. So what we're doing is we go just a little bit further out and then we record more here with the chef's microphone. So come with me. Oh, this is such a nice spot here. Oh, this is just so nice. Just listen to it, but let me just put the bag down because 
That way we don't have any trouble with the cable. Uh, you know, I have to be honest with you, I love recording city sounds, city ambience, but now being back here in nature, it just reminds me how dynamic it is and how much actually happens here around the microphone. Now, I would love to record way more sounds here, but that's not what this video is about. That's not what our journey is about. And that's why we're now hitting to another location that kind of like a geyser. So we're very excited to see how that looks like. So let's do this. Older. I feel like we're going to Iceland. <laughs> the geyser. It's near. 300 oh, baht? 300 baht? What? Alright, so we have an update. Yeah. You know, we just drove into the geyser and they said 300 baht per person. And we're like, ah, we just want to spend a couple minutes in here. So we decided not to go in there. So you won't see a geyser in this video. But you can see a geisha in our Iceland video that we recorded. It was really awesome. And that was free. This is where we're going. We just got our drinks at probably the strangest place I've ever been. <laughs> the witch house. <laughs> but very nice. Oh, yeah, very nice people. Spooky vibe. It's a very weird vibe. Mm. Look at this place. Hey. Yeah. I tell you, 2016 when we came here first time, we couldn't afford a place like this. <laughs> This place is only $24 a night. Well, the other one was $15. <laughs> You're not fooling anyone, Marcel. of the apartment there it is there's it's your the heart so what are we thinking about this place Libby? Uh, I think it's okay for the price right yes yes absolutely oh Ooh, this is looking nice We're gonna end things tonight with a little bit of ambience and we will see you tomorrow because we have more exploring to do here in Pi. Right Marcel? <laughs> <laughs>